What's up, Mr. Park here, do another review. My computer's crashed, so I'm not sure when this will be up. Like, I'm, you guys are going to be able to see me telling you this. But uh, the movie I was sent to review is Pervella. And uh, I was interested in it because uh, <laughs> Alex Channon directed it. Uh, my first experience with him was Cradle of Fear, which is a horror anthology, gory, cool. And uh, then later I tracked down some of his other stuff. So he did some shorts, Bad Karma, Drill Bit, uh, Chainsaw Scumfuck, and uh, Night Pastor, which I did a review for on the DVD Fiends. Great stuff, really gory, really splatterish. And this is another one of his films, not necessarily a horror film, but it has horror elements as well. It's definitely a cult movie. It is amazingly hilarious. Uh, and you kind of get a Monty Python vibe. I don't, I'm not the world's biggest Monty Python fan, not too familiar with them, but you get that kind of vibe, but it has a lot of sex in this, so it's like an over-the-top, uh, the costume designs are really awesome. The movie actually unfolds in the beginning by three trailers, which lets you know the crazy world that you are in. And one of the trailers has David Warbeck, who plays like a 007 character, which is really funny. And through those, you realize the, the world that, uh, and it opens up the story, so you don't need any narration or anything to explain those, basically explained it. We have a crazy queen who is in a Robotnik outfit suit thing, and she's trying to give birth to uh, the last heir because she's like 124 years old, and she needs this elixir of life. And uh, meanwhile, the cult of perbs are trying to take over, and they have a, uh, this baby is born, and uh, people are fighting over the baby, and the baby turns out to be Pervella. Anyways, Pervella is basically fast forwarded from a baby to an adult from a, a messed up experiment, and she's a sex fiend. She wears this necklace that controls her sex how sexiness or whatever, but when it comes off, she goes nuts, including she uh, has screws people to death, including a midget whose head explodes, which is very funny. As the movie goes on, you get a ragtag team of people going for the elixir, and also uh, following a secret message that was told to them by the plant people. They don't know it's the plant people, but when they get there, they realize that the plant people want to merge Prevella's powers with her and kind of control the world. But of course, there's other uh, goons and villains looking on side for their own uh, reasons. It's hilarious. Like They visit other places. Uh, Lots of goofy stuff happens. Uh, it looks like a riot. Uh, lots of nudity. Giant boob, Pervella. She's gorgeous. Uh, lots of weird erotica stuff, kind of. But uh, mostly, some, you even get some gore, you get some laughs, you get a lot of cheese, a lot of miniatures, tons of miniatures. I can't stress the miniatures enough. There's a whole city of miniatures which looks awesome and the ships are on strings. I don't know, some people really appreciate that kind of stuff. I do, uh, days before CGI. I really love this one. It comes with some special features. It's made in 97. Uh, a really strange little film, and uh, it's it's way past its uh, time when it should have been made, but way before its time it should have been made. It's kind of wasn't marketable, I don't think, at the time, but it's a cult classic, I think. To me, it is, and it's amazing. I mean, you know, you have new stuff like Isle of the Dam that's out, then you have the old Grindhouse stuff, and this stuff was in the middle, made when no one was really making stuff like that. And uh, he really made a good one, and I guess it's a semi-sequel to... Uh, Perv Parlor, which I have not seen. I'm going to try to get a hold of that one to review for you guys. But I really, really was impressed with this. It's loads of laughs. If you like weird, goofy, nudity-filled, strange stuff, then check this out because it is hilarious. Did I mention when she has, the queen has the fetuses, they spit them out and they're just like piles of goo? It's quite funny. Uh, quite nasty at the same time. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun and I, I really enjoyed it. I couldn't take my eyes off it. Uh, I laughed a lot. Uh, cried a lot. I'm just kidding. No, but uh, yeah, it's really awesome. Check this out if you like cult movies. This is, a, this is a midnight movie if I've ever seen one, and it does it great. Travel all around the world, and you get to see all sorts of really ragtag, ridiculous characters. Uh, have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Once upon a time, in the resplendent island of Mighty, the endless expansion of the capital Condon brought about a mighty war, which could only have one winner, Queen Victoria, the last of the great British tyrants. Condon is mine! Build a great wall around it and kill everyone outside. Build it so high that even the birds can't enter. I want to destroy history, burn all the folks. Time will begin with my regime. Destroy all the museums, the archives. Kill all the historians, obliterate the thinkers, and crucify the visionaries. I don't want anybody believing in anything except Condon and me! The monarchy of terror. Now, the queen is old, smelly, and bedridden. <coughs>
at your majesty. You're 124 years old. Liar! Off with his head! The Museum of Curiosities, home to the curator, whose life was about to be torn apart. Curator, curator, the Queen started the killing. They've taken your father. No! I can invent a machine to keep you alive. The Monarchy of Terror. Now fix me down there. Watch my bastard old spring die as I outlive them. Me. Well, I'll not be part of your evil plan. Then observe as I destroy your precious museum. Piece by piece. No, not Ruffles. Ruffles. I should do. As you bid. The Monarchy of Terror. Voodoo. Action. Passion. More action. Amicus Riley is back. Well, the worst did you expect? Oh, sorry about the bumpy ride. Well, don't be sorry, my dear. You're a barrel of fun. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Amicus, I want you. You will see incredible civilizations. You will fight many armies and you will spill a lot of blood. <laughs> I try not to believe what I'm avoiding. The color doesn't suit me. David Warbeck is Amicus Riley in an all new bone crunching, teeth grinding, heart stopping, mind blowing adventure. I come to the elixir of life. You have to defeat me first. I want your juice. An adventure that brings him love and dishonor. Amicus Riley, Crusade of Doom, an adventure that takes him to the heart mm. of evil itself. I have what you've asked for. Uh, that's good. Here, drink. It seems I will require your services for all eternity. Uh, not quite all eternity, Majesty. What? But I thought it was the elixir of life! It is. For a bit. A bit is not good enough. You will return today and bring back more. I bought as much as I could carry, and I almost died doing it. Now, all I require is my fee. After him! Prepare for the ride of your life. When the excitement never stops. Shit, shit, shit! And the action Damn. just keeps on coming. <laughs> With all the effects wizardry of unsuitable light and magic. That way! We must stop making like this. Amicus Riley. Crusade of Doom. He's got his hand in every bush. From this way, Tully Ho! <laughs> right, get ready. Pass this along. After three. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Good grief! Dash it, darn it, blow! Didn't quite work as we planned. <laughs> Don't worry, Daddy. I'll deal with this. What are you doing, child? Oh, well. 
that's the last we'll see of them. So, what are we waiting for? I have an idea. Ah, the ocean, the south coast. Lady Luck smiles on us at last. I must congratulate you, Professor. A wonderful plan. Who would have thought Aboriginal genitalia make excellent water wings? 